Okay, today we are going to look at which IB math course should you take. And I know that's a really important decision for many of you. So check out this video, I'm gonna go through that today. Welcome to my video where I'm going to talk about the different IB math courses. I'm going to do my random shout out for a subscriber. Okay, and thank you, Avgustinos Taosis. I probably mangled that name, but thank you for subscribing. It is really appreciated. You can see his channel here. And if you like your own chance to get a shout out, then please click that subscribe button and you might be that next random shout out. Right, let's get started right now. Let's look at these IB math courses. Okay, so how does IB Math work now from 2019? Well, we have two strands. We have an applications interpretation strand, which is more based on using your GDC, more looking at worthy questions and working out what you need to do mathematically. And then we have the more, I would say, traditional analysis and approaches. And both applications and analysis you can take at standard level and at higher level. But notice the applications papers are both calculator and the analysis and the approaches has one non-calculator paper and one calculator. And if you do higher level in either subject, there is an extra paper three uh, sort of investigation style question as well. So that gives you an overview of what is offered at IB Math. Let's look at some more detail. So you can see uh, one of the changes to IB Math now is that standard level is a subset of higher level. Okay, so there's not a separate higher level and standard level course like before. So this allows more flexibility within the classroom as it says here. So for example, if you started doing application standard level, and you're thinking maybe I should transfer across to applications higher level, um, it's much easier to do this now. You can just do the extra content required at applications higher level instead. Likewise, with analysis and approaches. Um, you'll notice there is a core element to all mathematics courses, as you can see here, uh, which is uh, 60 hours worth. Then you have 60 hours worth of standard level content specific to applications, specific to analysis and approaches. And then you have an additional 90 hours of higher level in both those strands as well. Hopefully the diagram in front of you gives you an idea. Right, let's look at each course in detail. So let's start with the IB standard level applications course. This is suitable for someone, say they want to study psychology or sociology, perhaps law at university, and they simply need to do a mathematics course. Uh, this is probably the course for you, particularly if you find uh, mathematics uh, quite challenging. Um, the great thing about this course is there is a focus, as you can see here, on functions and on statistics. So particularly the statistics part of it, like hypothesis testing, for example, is really, really useful for you when you go to university, say you want to do a psychological study, then that hypothesis testing, that formal way of setting it out is a really, really good skill to have. In terms of paper one and paper two, you both have uh, 90 minute papers. Paper one is short response, paper two is long response, and there's of course the coursework, which is common to all four courses, which is worth 20%. Okay, so let's look at the higher level version of applications interpretations. Um, this is not really similar to any course that existed before 2019. Um, I, I teach this personally, so I teach IB high level applications. And there's some very tricky topics in there. You know, look at eigenvectors, for example, or looking at transition matrices in more depth. Some of the calculus topics can be quite tricky. As you can see of the distribution, there is certainly a focus towards the statistics um, part of the course. Quite a bit of geometry involved as well. And you can see how it's divided up here. Um, again, applications always calculated through all the papers. Uh, you can see how it's divided up here uh, on applications. Paper one is always short response. Paper two is always a long response. A uh, paper three is an investigation style paper, similar to the IGCSE paper six. Feel free to check out my videos on that. And of course the coursework option as well. Uh, generally, I'd recommend this course for someone that's good at mathematics, but at the same time doesn't necessarily need mathematics in a future university option. So that's the things to consider here. Now we have standard level analysis and approaches, and this is probably the closest course to the old standard level 
uh, on the IB course before 2019. Um, you require a good level of mathematics here, particularly from IGCSE. It's probably one of the most balanced courses, I would say. So there's a good even distribution of geometry, trigonometry, calculus, number and algebra, and so on. Um, the key thing to remember with analysis compared to applications is that you get short and long answer questions within both papers. And the reason for that is now you have a strict non-calculated paper and a strict calculated paper. Um, this is a great course for someone who wants to study economics, for example, which is mathematical based, uh, but ne you don't necessarily need the very high level analysis and approaches uh, necessarily. Um, and if you're thinking of doing something in math and engineering and you don't need high level analysis specifically, then this may be the course for you to balance out, say, a higher level in physics or a higher level in chemistry. OK, so anyone interested in the sciences um, that doesn't need high level mathematics, so you need to check out exactly where you could go to university. This is probably the course for you. And finally, we have high level analysis and approaches, which is perhaps the toughest course out of all four options. And it's the most similar to the old maths higher level. And simply put, if you want to do mathematics at university, or you want to do engineering at university, essentially you need to do this course, okay, across the world. Again, check out your country specifics on this. As you can see, there is uh, quite a bit of focus on geometry and trigonometry and calculus, but it's a pretty balanced course. If you're more focused on functions and statistics, you should probably be looking at the high level applications course. Uh, this course is structured in the same way. So paper one and paper two have a mixture of short and long answer questions. Uh, paper one is non-calculator, paper two is calculator. Um, you've also got the coursework option here as well, which is worth 20% and you can see how it's distributed here. Okay, so what course are you thinking of? Are you not sure between standard level analysis and high level applications? Are you not sure which high level you should take? Then feel free to put a comment down below and I will help you as much as possible with coming to an informed decision. Again, if you like this video, please like and please subscribe. It does help the channel. Okay, hope to see you on the next video. Bye bye for now.